you've just done a clean install. And if you're looking at, oh, kind of what I'm looking at, which I guess you are, uh, it doesn't look like much, does it? Now, what's conspicuous by its absence? Because we know there's not a lot of stuff here yet. It's a clean install. But where are my hard drives? Now, here's the thing. If you upgrade an operating system, which a lot of us do, what it does is it takes on all of the preferences, your background, all the things that you did to make that operating system work for you, and applies them to the new one. But if you're working from scratch and doing a clean install, all preferences are set to default. And one of the preferences is, do you want to see your hard drives? And yes, I do. So I'm going to go up to the word Finder on the pull-down menu and go down to Preferences. Now in Preferences, we have General, and there they are. I do want to see my hard disks, my externals, any CDs, DVDs, and iPods, or connected servers. And there they are. Makes me feel a little bit better. Now you have a new Finder window option here. And what do you want to see when you open up a new window? Now the default is all my files, but you can choose anything that you want to. So for example, if I come out here somewhere and just click and press the shortcut, which is Command F. Now the cool thing is, since I'm talking to nothing but Macintosh people, it's Command for all of us. We sometimes call it the Apple key, but Command and the letter F as in Frank. And there you go. All my files. Now I'm going to close that window with a shortcut command and the letter W for close window. Let's come back over here. Open folders and tabs instead of new windows. We'll talk about that later. Spring loaded folders. What's that? Well, let me bring something over. I have another monitor. I'm going to drag something over here. How many times have you done this? You want to move something, a folder, a document, into another document folder in another hard drive, maybe. So you go and you start opening it up and finding it, when really all you have to do, if this is on, is drag it up and just hover over it, and it will open it up. I can then dig deeper and deeper and deeper. I want to let go here. I can. But if I move out here, everything goes back again. So if I want to do that, the spring-loaded option, which is not new, but it's a nice feature, you can decide the delay and if you want it on or off. Now the shortcut for opening something up is just the space bar. Okay, now let's go to tags. Now with tags, are they're a little bit different than they were in previous versions, but basically what they are is color-coding things. So if I come into holding folder and say, for example, this one right here is very important to me. So I can right-click my mouse and then choose a color right down here. And it will tag it, as you can see. Now the cool thing about tags, let me go ahead and close that with the shortcut, is that you've got all these here and you've got some new ones here like gray, work, home, and important. And you can actually click on these and change those names. You could say red is for video, orange is for audio, whatever you want to do. It's up to you. So you have all these different tags. Over here is sidebar. Now sidebar, if I open up something so you can see this, this is the sidebar right here. Those are areas we can get to very quickly just by clicking. Now if you want to, you can turn on or off things that go in the sidebar, and you can personalize that by dragging things into it. We'll talk about that later. But you've got all these different things for your sidebar. The final one is advanced. Now do you want to see all your file name extensions? To be honest with you, I haven't used that in years. But if you want to see the extensions, you can. Show warning before changing an extension. I do leave that on. So you have a file that you think needs to have an extension changed on it so it can be read correctly. It will warn you before it allows you to do it, saying you're sure you want to do that. And that's probably not a bad thing to leave on. Show warning before emptying the trash. So if you try to empty trash, it's going to say, are you sure? I do like that option because I have accidentally once or twice hit the trash icon without thinking. And it does warn me so I know I don't empty something I didn't want to empty. But if you hold the Option key down, and it's also called the Alt key, but on a Mac it is called the Option key, when you click the trash icon, it basically will do it without asking. So you can leave that on, and at times when you know you want to empty the trash, just hold the Option key down when you do that. Empty trash securely actually gives you an option to empty trash where it destroys the evidence, if you will. Now, I'm not James Bond, so I don't usually have too many things that I would be afraid somebody would come back and get. So if you want to do it that way, you turn that on. But that means every single time you empty your trash, it will go through a secure empty. 
And that can take, well, it can take minutes, if not hours, if you've got a lot of stuff in there. Now, when performing a search, what do you want to do? Search the Mac, the current folder that you're in, or use the previous search scope. Search this Mac is the one that I do use. It is the default. So what we have here are finder preferences. They are all set to default if we're doing a clean install. This is how you change them. 